Good morning and welcome to those who are joining me for this uh, morning prayer on the feast of Saint Athanasius, uh, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Uh, Saint Athanasius um, uh, was one of the great uh, church fathers um, who helped uh, to push and define uh, the frontiers of, of orthodoxy, um, of, uh, of definitions um, of the church and of Christ, um, and, uh, and was very, um, very influential uh, on the development of the church uh, as it stands today. Morning prayer as according to the Universalis uh, website, uh, not the app, not the um, physical breviary, uh, the Universalis uh, website. Uh, the hymn will be sung, uh, and then I will say the entirety of the office. Uh, those of you um, uh, the, who normally say the office antiphonally, you are welcome to do so, uh, but as I have no one here to answer me, um, I will say the entirety um, of the office. Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. The Lord is the source of all wisdom. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Rejoice in the Lord all the earth, and serve him with joy. Exalt as you enter his presence. The Lord is the source of all wisdom. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, and we are his, his people, the sheep of his flock. The Lord is the source of all wisdom. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Cry out his praises as you enter his gates. Fill his courtyards with songs. Proclaim him and bless his name. For the Lord is our delight. His mercy lasts forever. His faithfulness through all the ages. The Lord is the source of all wisdom. Come, let us adore him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is the source of all wisdom. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. All these like stars appearing, this before God's throne for stand, each a golden crown is wearing, who are all this glorious band. Alleluia, hark they sing. Praising loud the heavenly King. Who are these of dazzling brightness, clothed in God's own righteousness? These whose robes of purest whiteness shall their lustre still possess, still untouched by time's rude hand. Whence come all this glorious band? These are they who have contended for their Saviour's honour long, wrestling until life was ended, following not the sinful throng. These who well the fight sustained, Triumph through the Lamb have gained. These are they whose hearts were riven, so with woe and anguish tried, who in prayerful love have striven with the God they glorified. Now their painful conflict all. God has bid them weep no more. These the Almighty contemplating did as priests before him stand, soul and body always waiting, day and night at his command. 
Now in God's most holy place, lest they stand before his face. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and they are life. Alleluia. I call on you with all my heart. Answer me, Lord. I will obey your laws. I call on you, save me, so that I may keep your decrees. At first light I cry to you, I put all my hope in your word. In the night I keep watch, pondering your sayings. In your mercy, Lord, hear my voice. In your justice, give me life. My persecutors come to do me harm. They are far from your law. But you, Lord, are near to me. And you are trustworthy in all your precepts. From the beginning I have known your decrees. How you have made them to last forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and they are life. Alleluia. Lord, you have set up your temple and altar on your holy mountain. Alleluia. God of my fathers and Lord of mercy, who made all things by your word, who in your wisdom set man to rule over all that you created, to arrange the world in holiness and justice, to make right judgments according to the guidance of his heart. Give me wisdom who stands by your throne and let me not be unworthy to be your servant. For I am your slave and the son of your servant girl, a man weak, short-lived, slow to understand your judgments and laws, even the highest of the children of men. If your wisdom is absent, counts for nothing. With you abides wisdom who knows your works. She was with you when you made the world. She knew what was pleasing to your eyes. She saw what was right according to your precepts. Send your wisdom from the highest heaven. Send her from the throne of your greatness, that she may abide with me and work with me, so that I may know what it is that pleases you. For wisdom knows everything and understands. She will lead me wisely in what I do and protect me in her glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you have set up your temple and altar on your holy mountain. Alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, all nations. All peoples praise him. For his mercy is strong over us, and his faithfulness is forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Alleluia. What I learned without self-interest, I pass on without reserve. I do not intend to hide her riches, for she is an inexhaustible treasure to men, and those who acquire her win God's friendship, commended as they are to him by the benefits of her teaching. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. Alleluia, alleluia. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. Alleluia, alleluia. The church sings her praises. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. Alleluia, alleluia. The learned will shine as brightly as the vault of heaven, and those who have been instructed, then those who have instructed many in virtue 
will shine like stars for all eternity. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. For he has come to his people and brought about their redemption. He has raised up the sign of salvation in the house of his servant David, as he promised through the mouth of the holy ones, his prophets through the ages, to rescue us from our enemies and all who hate us, to take pity on our fathers, to remember his holy covenant and the oath he swore to Abraham our father, that he would give himself to us, that we could serve him without fear, freed from the hands of our enemies, in uprightness and holiness before him for all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the face of the Lord to prepare his path, to let his people know their salvation, so that their sins may be forgiven. Through the bottomless mercy of our God, one born on high will visit us, to give light to those who walk in darkness, who live in the shadow of death, to lead our feet in the path of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The learned will shine as brightly as the vault of heaven, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Alleluia. Christ, the Good Shepherd, laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise him with grateful hearts as we pray, Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Christ, our Lord, in the holy pastors you reveal your love for us. May we never be deprived of the care you show through them. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Through your sacred ministers, you are present in our midst as the shepherd of our souls. Never cease to guide us through their teaching and encouragement. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. In the saints, you lead your people, you lead your people, you manifest. In the saints who lead your people, you manifest your power of healing souls and bodies. Remain always with us to renew our lives in holiness. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. By the example of the saints, you instruct the faithful in the ways of wisdom and love. Through our pastors, help us grow to the full stature of perfection. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty, ever-living God and Father, you raised up Saint Athanasius as the great champion of your son's divinity. Through the doctrine and patronage of your saint, in which we rejoice, let our knowledge and love of you grow ever deeper and stronger. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let the Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil, and bring us unto everlasting life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you to all those uh, who joined me for this morning prayer and the Feast of St. Athanasius. Uh, something I forgot uh, to say at the beginning, uh, St. Saint, uh, Saint Athanasius uh, was, uh, was uh, a great uh, combatter um, of the heresy known as Arianism, uh, the, uh, the heresy uh, that suggests um, that uh, Christ um, is not uh, uh, fully God. The second person of the Trinity um, is not, uh, is not um, uh, fully divine, is not co-equal uh, with the Father. Uh, the Son um, and the Father have a difference in that the Son um, uh, is generated after um, uh, the Father in some sense. Uh, uh, something that on the surface uh, doesn't seem um, like, a, like a huge um, uh, 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 problem, but uh, when you start to uh, parcel out um, uh, the, the conclusions that one reaches uh, from such a starting point, uh, we see that uh, salvation um, uh, and the church uh, uh, look completely different uh, and potentially impossible um, uh, if that had been um, uh, the, the, the foundation upon which uh, the church had continued to grow. Uh, so we have a lot to uh, St. Athanasius for. Um, his, uh, his prayers um, uh, should, uh, should uh, be uh, most widely sought. Um, 
please do join me at uh, 5 p.m. Uh, actually, no, apologies. Please do join me at 4.30 today. Um, this has to be a slight uh, alteration of the schedule, but please do join me at 4.30 today for evening prayer, followed by the Holy Rosary. Please do join me at 9 and 5 tomorrow, as the Prime Minister has reminded us. Uh, it's very important we exercise at least once a day. With our spiritual exercises, this must be at least twice a day. Uh, so please do join me, uh, and God bless you all.